If you ever find yourself lost in the wilderness and need to build a quick shelter for the night, the Debris Hut is an excellent option. If built properly, these shelters can keep you warm even without a fire. And the best part is that this build can be made using almost everything off of the forest floor. Before I even start building my shelter, I have to select a location. And I'm choosing this nice uh, flat spot. And you can see all around me, we have fallen over trees, um, we have standing trees. The ground is just covered with uh, leaf litter. And this is actually going to be our most important material to our debris hut shelter. So yeah, I wanna find a nice flat area and right by all my resources. To start off with the shelter, I need my three basic supports. So I'm looking for something nice and sturdy that's going to take the weight of the other branches and limbs and also the insulation. So I'm going to be looking ideally for a green wood like this. Um, green wood meaning that it's living, it's not dead, it's not rotten. Although dead wood would work, it's just that green wood's going to be stronger because it's going to be living. So I'm going to cut down near the bottom, not where it gets really thick, but enough so that I can use as much of this tree as possible. I don't want to be wasteful. So I went ahead and I took that tree and cut it into two pieces. I also cut another piece from another tree. And so I have three poles that are going to act as my structure and they're going to form a stable triangle. And that triangle is going to hold everything together. Right here, we have the center piece. It's the longest piece and it's a couple feet higher than my height. This is gonna sit about chest to stomach level and the wall is going to lie on this. So we want a really nice steady piece. And supporting the ridge pole, we have these two parts that are about the uh, same length around my height. These are also nice sturdy pieces because these are going to be holding up this center pole right here and that's going to be holding up our wall. The next step is to lash the two side pieces together. I'm using 550 paracord but you can use other types of rope or cordage, including natural cordage. Tightly bind the pieces together in an X that forms a triangle about stomach to chest high. You don't need fancy knots to create a strong bind, just a good length of cordage. And be sure to leave some extra length for the ridge pull. Next, place the ridge pole on top of the X. Now you have a visual of the shelter size. Go ahead and lie inside the structure in case you need to adjust the size. Remember, we want a snug fit inside because the more space you occupy, the less energy is needed to produce heat. But be sure the size is still comfortable. This is where you're going to be sleeping. Use your extra length of cordage to secure the ridge pole. If you ran out of cordage, it's okay. This isn't critical. I'm just digging the center piece into that little bit of ground back there just so that the shelter doesn't collapse backwards. And another way to increase the hut's stability is to take these side pieces and take them out a little bit forwards so that everything's kind of leaning against each other and that way it's a nice balanced piece. So now that we're done with the structure we're going to need to set up our walls. We can go ahead and use straight saplings just like these and they don't have to be as thick as the uh, supports because they're not going to be really holding weight. 
only the insulation on the outside. We can actually use some dead wood too. Something even as like we can brittle as this will work because these pieces aren't going to be holding the weight of the shelter, just the insulation. And they're going to be all together. Their uh, main function is just to form a wall to hold our debris or insulation on the outside. So we want to collect a bunch of these and we want varying lengths of these too because they're going to gradually shrink in length as the ridge of the triangle goes down. For my debris huts, it takes around 20 to 30 pieces to form a wall. Your walls may need more or less pieces depending on your body size. Stack your pieces at the same angle as the side supports. The length of your pieces should gradually shrink in accordance to the height of the ridge pole. And make sure you're forming the width you desire as well. This side of the wall is pretty much complete and I made sure to stack the sticks next to each other, you know, pretty close. So under this leaf litter, we have this wet soil and we don't want to sleep on this because for one, it's uncomfortable. No one wants to sleep on anything wet. And two, at night, that's just going to suck all the body heat out of us because we're going to be in contact with this cold ground. So now that we know we have to get off this ground, what do we do? If you look around, there's this leaf litter everywhere. These are going to be great to sleep on. So as you can see, I took a bunch of leaves and I piled them up uh, quite a bit. You want it to fill up the shelter because when you get inside, you don't want it just to lying on top of them, but you really want to be able to bury yourself in these leaves. If you have the time, go ahead and pile more leaves on yourself too, because all these leaves are going to serve as a blanket. The cold air coming in is going to be stopped by these leaves on the outside, and they're also going to trap my body heat. And along with the roof covered with leaves, these uh, walls covered with leaves, they're going to be quite warm. And I also have a nice fluffy layer below me, so I'm not touching the ground at all. And if the leaves around you are pretty wet and you need something dry, you can go ahead and use some birch bark and you can you know, lay these on top if need be. Or you can also use ferns. Now, it's late fall here in Vermont, so these ferns are going to be less abundant and the bigger species of ferns aren't going to be thriving out here so it may it may take more work depending on what season you're in but look around your environment see what it has to offer right now this environment has a bunch of leaves to offer so i'm going to go ahead and listen to the forest and use the leaves and it's going to be the most time and energy efficient collecting leaves instead of looking for more uh, sparse resources like ferns After finishing the second wall, it's time to insulate the outside of the shelter. Use more piles of leaves to insulate the walls. When stacking, it's easiest to start from the bottom up because new piles will be supported by the piles below them. Oftentimes beginners will do tiny things like this, but you really want one big ball of leaves and it's just more efficient doing it this way. You can also see there's some sticks in here as well and you don't want to get rid of these. These are going to actually kind of stitch the layers of leaves together. We want nice big piles you can instead of throwing them on gently put them on so that they stay there.
The more leaves, the better insulated your shelter will be. These layers will help trap the warm air inside the shelter while fighting the elements outside. Don't let the outside of the shelter deceive you. All these leaves piled up, looks like there aren't any air holes, but if we actually go inside the shelter and look up, you can see the sky through these holes. And that's where we need to cover up. Every area counts. So be sure to go inside and double check your work. So now we're finished with our debris hut. We have our skeleton made up of sticks and trees holding up our layers of leaves. And below me, we have an even bigger pile of leaves that is protecting me from the cold ground. And as you can see, it's a real tight fit. Although it's kind of a pain in the butt to be confined to such a small space, the less air space there is, the warmer you're going to be. Good thing about a debris hut is that it's actually built to keep you warm even if you don't have a fire in cold, wet conditions. And remember, the more leaves, the better. So if you have spare time, you should go ahead and get even more leaves than these so that you're just buried in them. So if you ever need a warm shelter to build in a timely manner, the debris hut is the way to go. That was True Survival. Thanks for watching.